If we look at Genesis, in the first few verses it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. I mentioned earlier beforehand about um, evolution thinking, really going right through, even through religion. I mentioned about people believing that the simplest, the, the simplest form of animism, magic, had evolved through to polytheism, lots of gods, finally through to monotheism, one god creating everything. Uh, people like Fraser, uh, you may have read Fraser's book or come across it, The Golden Bough, he was one of those people. Tyler and Durkheim and others, they, they spoke about this kind of thing. However, what we find in the ancient religions, as time went on, as archaeologists dug, and as anthropologists studied amongst tribes, remote tribes, they found it was actually the opposite. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator, and that something had gone wrong, and it actually devolved. It's actually gone the opposite direction. It corrupted from a purer form through to polytheism and through to simple magic and spells and so forth. Religions, as time went on, as archaeologists dug, anthropologists studied work about this kind of thing. However, what we find in the ancient religions, as time went on, as archaeologists dug, and as anthropologists studied amongst tribes, remote tribes, they found it was actually the opposite. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator, and that something had gone wrong, and it actually devolved. It's actually gone the opposite direction. It corrupted from a purer form through to polytheism and through to simple magic and spells and so forth. Anthropologists studied amongst tribes. Anthropologists studied amongst tribes. Anthropologists studied amongst tribes. Anthropologists studied amongst tribes, remote tribes. They found it was actually the opposite. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator and that something had gone wrong, and it actually devolved. It's actually gone the opposite direction. It corrupted from a purer form through to polytheism and through to simple magic and spells and so forth. In fact, if you look at was it the Golden Bough, he was one of those people. Tyler and Durkheim and others, they, they spoke about this kind of thing. However, what we find in the ancient religions, as time went on, as archaeologists dug, and as anthropologists studied amongst tribes, remote tribes, they found it was actually the opposite. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator, and that something had gone wrong, and it actually devolved. It's actually gone the opposite direction. It corrupted from a purer form through to polytheism and through to simple magic and spells and so forth. In fact, if you look at today, even in our own time, what's called the New Age movement, um, we've seen that this country one time was very strongly monotheistic sort of Christian. But since the 60s, in the last sort of 40 years, there's been an amazing movement of lots and lots of people, just in a short period of time of 40 years, getting involved in animism, various forms of crystal healing therapy and spells and, and all that kind of thing, very popular. And it can happen quite rapidly. If we look at um, Professor Langdon, uh, he was an archaeologist from Oxford University. He said, in his understanding as a, in Sumerian history, he said, the history of the oldest religion of man is a rapid decline from monotheism to extreme polytheism and a widespread belief in evil spirits. It is, in a very true sense, the history of the fall of man. Anthropologists studied amongst tribes, remote tribes. They found it was actually the opposite. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator and that something had gone wrong and it actually devolved. It's actually gone the opposite direction. They found a shadowy figure in the background who was a supreme creator, found a shadowy figure in the background, who was a supreme creator,